over into a fish. Come on, mama. What are ya? And it's our shoreline and it's pulling. No, don't go into the rocks. No, 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 no. Stay out of the rocks. Nice little bluefish from the surf. Ah. Well, what's up guys? Welcome to Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we're surf fishing because we got a north wind and I'm sure it's still super windy in the microphone, but we're throwing diamond jigs in the surf for bluefish. Let's go. So it's an outgoing tide and everything's being pulled out this way. So we're fishing the this way of the tide around this jetty, which is where these fish are gonna be sitting. The little holes and pools formed by the sand and the water movement. We got one right there. What? <laughs> I was just pulling it in. You take another cast and you hit right there. That's cool. Another bluefish, probably six pounds. Nothing huge, but certainly fun in the surf. Oh man. There we go. So like I said in the clip before, we're just looking for where those rips are when we're surf fishing. Little drop offs where bait are gonna be. One thing I've learned is that you're not necessarily a striped bass or a bluefish finder when you're, when you're surf fishing. You're finding bait. If you can find the areas where bait are most likely gonna be, you're gonna find the fish. And bluefish love to eat. Did you guys see how easy that hook came out? I didn't even go near the fish and the hook came out. Look at that chomper. He looks like a little breaded chicken nugget, but uh, that's not ideal for the fish. But I wanted to show you this little guy. I'll talk to you why I choose that over something else right now. So as I've said in videos before, bluefish will go after anything. And another thing I said is look, they tear up leaders, even with a, a bait this big. The hook's here. They tear it up, tore up right here. So the reason I'm choosing this over like a swimming plug or something like that is because one, my swimming plugs have a lot of trebles on them. I haven't replaced them with the single hooks yet this year, but this is a single hook and I want to get a little bit deeper and cast a little bit further with this wind. So I'm going to be using something heavier like this that's going to get down deep quicker than a swimming plug. Yes, I'm targeting bluefish. And uh, that's what I'm going after. And bluefish will go after anything, especially shiny things with some shimmering sunlight. So we're gonna retie this because they literally tear up leaders like crazy. And we're gonna go catch some more fish. Let's go.
When it comes to bluefish, I just make my leaders at home and I bring a bag full of them. I've already gone through two this morning and they got a little, let's focus. They got a little uh, barrel swivel on them. I'm gonna save this leader and just use the hardware again. If I need to, I have a spare spool if I need to tie some more. But really all I'm doing is tying on a new leader with a clinch knot onto a barrel swivel and calling it a day. There we go. Another one. They seem to be sitting in that same spot. There must be like a, a little drop off right there or a little bar where they're just sitting plucking away at, I don't know, maybe sand crabs or something. It seems like every single cast I'm getting hit and or a fish. And I just retied my leader, so that's, uh, that's a comforting thing. All right, so we're gonna use that wave to bring him on up. Yes, sir. Just like that. It's a big fish. Is it giant? No, but it's a big one. If he likes to go, I can get your hook out, bud. There you go. That's not a bad fish from the surf. Definitely a beautiful fish. Big old boy, probably 31-ish pounds, uh, 31 inches, close to it. Mwah. Smooch and release from the surf. That's why I'm using the diamond jig over something else because I can get down deep as, as quick or as or as late in the cast as I want. Let's go get more. So like I said as I was fighting that fish, it seems like they're sitting on the bottom right over in this one spot. So I'm gonna slow roll and jig this diamond, this diamond jig. Cause there's another hit. There you go, oh, yep, there he goes. I've said this in multiple videos, if you find the fish, cast there again. Cause chances are there's more. We got a little blue fish, nowhere near the size of the last one, from what it looks like shimmering in the water there. Oh, he's a fatty. A little shorter than the last one though. Mwah, look how thick he is. Set him back. I appreciate you watching the video all the way through. If you learned something, awesome. I'd love to know if one of my tips is helping you catch more fish. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out, man. Go check out the channel. We have so many more videos. Hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time.